Welcome, let's discuss the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Before we discuss the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, we have to discuss two ideas. When does a triangle exist? And what is the Pythagorean theorem? A triangle exists when the sum of the two sides of a triangle it is greater than the third side of that triangle. So let's say that we have a triangle with lengths ABC. Then we are saying that we'll, when I add the length of AB, it has to be greater than C. And we are saying that when we add the length of AC, it has to be greater than B. And when we add the length of BC, it has to be greater than A. If neither of these three scenarios are true, then we do not have a triangle. Remember that the Pythagorean theorem is only true in a right triangle. The side that is opposite to 90 degrees, we call that the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And the other two sides, we just call the legs of the right triangle. But to simplify this, let's call leg 1 A, let's call leg 2 B, and let's call the hypotenuse C. And based on the labeling of this triangle, we can say that A squared but b squared, it is equal to c squared. Now that we have reviewed these ideas, let's discuss the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem, it helps us answer the question, can we classify triangles? We have one way to identify right triangles. But given the sides a, b, and c, if a squared plus b squared, it is equal to c squared. If this is true, then we know that we have a right triangle. By definition, a right triangle has 90 degrees. So what if we consider a triangle that has an angle that is less than 90 degrees. And one way to visualize this is to think of the length of AC as it is closing towards the angle of 90 degrees. And the same goes with the length of BC. Let's think of this line segment and let's say that it starts closing towards the angle of 90 degrees. And if that's the case, then now let's consider this triangle in blue where this left hand side is the location of CB as if it was closing inward. And this right hand side is where the length of CA was closing inwards as well. So now let's consider the triangle. The labeling that we have for BC as A, now that's the same labeling that we can choose on the left hand side of that triangle. The labeling that we have of CA as B, that's the same labeling that we can have or the right hand side of the right triangle. And the side opposite of the angle that is less than 90, let's call that C. This purple triangle, we can label it as an acute triangle. When we were creating the sides of this triangle, or as we were moving inward, notice that the value of C, it also got smaller. What was BA, it lost all this length, then we have a different result with the Pythagorean theorem. What was a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now it becomes a squared plus b squared greater than c squared. When this inequality is true, then we can conclude that we have an acute triangle where c is the greatest length of the three sides in our triangle. Notice what we have done. What was the hypotenuse? As the longest side in our triangle, we have to shrink it, the length of that hypotenuse. 
Now, let's consider a triangle that has an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. One way to think about this is to get the line segment of AC and we rotate it outward. And we can do the same with CB. We can look at this line segment of CB and we can rotate it outwards as well. What was initially 90 degrees, now it is more than 90 degrees. Let's create a new triangle using these two blue lines. Because this triangle has an angle that is greater than 90 degrees, we can call this an obtuse triangle. Remembering that BA had a label of A, now we can label this side as A as well. CA had a labeling of B, now we can label this side as B as well. And what was the hypotenuse, we can still call that C. We have increased the length of the original hypotenuse. We had BA, and now when we increase that angle, BA increased in length as well. Because the hypotenuse increased in length, then we change the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But because the hypotenuse increased in length, then we don't have an equal sign. Now we know that C squared is greater than the addition of A squared plus B squared. When this inequality is true, then we can say that we have an obtuse triangle. And in the labeling of the sides of the triangle, C, it is still considered the longest. So now we have a tool to identify if we have either a right triangle, an acute triangle, or an obtuse triangle. If the Pythagorean theorem is true, then we know we have a right triangle. If A squared plus B squared, it is greater than C squared, then we have an acute triangle. And if A squared plus B squared is less than C squared, then we have an obtuse triangle. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 